Hey guys, okay, I wanted to do one more video. I told you I'm gonna knock these videos out back. So, um, while I was on maternity leave or whatnot, I was researching and learning different types of natural homemade type things for skin and hair. You know, for me, my baby, because you know, like I said, baby's skin are really sensitive and they're not adjusted to all the chemicals that come with products in the world. And, you know, if anything, I don't want my baby to get an allergic reaction from anything that may be in it. And then my philosophy is, if I can't pronounce it, I don't need to use it. And I know this cliche, but at the same time, it's reality because, you know, a lot of these products have chemicals and these big words. And it's like, what is it? Let me Google it real quick. So if you have to do all that, you might as well just save your dollars, save your time, and just make your own stuff. So I'm learning to do things myself because not only is it easy, no, it's cheap, so I don't know what, but at least I know what's going in my products. Like if I make a body oil, which hold on, I'll show you. I, t I did a tutorial, well not really a tutorial, but I showed you guys what I made and I put in my Shea Moisture. Shea, I recycle my um, bowls. But this is my homemade shea butter. I just used some shea butter, some tea tree oil, Jamaican black castor oil, um, like three different oils, and um, a moisturizer. And I just blended it all together. And this is really good for your skin. It, kept, it keeps my skin moisture. And like I said, I'm a Cetaphil person. I use Cetaphil. If you don't know what that is, I'll be glad to show you. And it's this. Whoop. I love Cetaphil. I've been using it for a long time. I use their face wash, their acne wash, their moisturizing cream, their moisturizing cream with the SPF 15. I'm just a Cetaphil girl, but it keeps my skin really smooth and not dry. I be using it on my face. But now lately I've been using coconut oil on my face. So that's really been helping a lot for not only me, but for my baby skin as well. And I talked about that in my last video about postpartum. So, anywho, I saw a track. But last time, I made my own shampoo. So, I wanted to talk about it and give a review about it. So, um, I made a coconut honey hair mask shampoo. And it is awesome. Like, the smell is awesome. The way it feels is awesome. The way it lathers is awesome. It's just an awesome shampoo because um, I know a lot of the shampoos I used to use in the past had, um, was it sodium, sodium laurate sulfate, and they say that's not good for natural hair. And like I said, I'm no natural hair guru. I did not experiment with the ingredients and all of that. But when I was relaxed and using shampoos that had that in it, my hair still grew. So I'm not a big person on oh i can't use this because it has that in it because in the end of the day it's not about what's going in your hair it's just how you take care of it but for my good well-being of me taking care of my hair on this natural hair journey i decide to know for myself what's going on in my hair what's going in my hair and when i lather it smells good i just whew, to my nails and just like oh Oh, made my hair come up and my hair was so soft it was moistured I could have did a wash and go if I wanted to but it's like I said it's too cold for that for me at least and I didn't want to take that risk especially holding my baby so um, I'll just show you what I used to make my honey my coconut milk honey hair mask shampoo okay so I went to Rite Aid and I got this good old castor soap and from research, this stuff is really good. You can use it to make your own soap. You can use it to clean. You can use it to make your shampoo. It's just a soap. So what you do with it is all up to you. So this is my, this is what I call my base. So without this, I would not have been able to lather and be, my hair would have been, not have been soapy or anything. So this is it. And it's just the lavender kind. And it smells really good. So this one or whichever one you choose. I know they have different ones and you can choose whatever you want to. Okay. So I have my coconut milk that I just picked up from Walmart. And I put um, 
two cups in there. And then I put my honey that I got just from Walmart, great value. And then I use grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, and my good old hydrotherma natural oil, hair growth oil. And like I said, I've been using this line since I was relaxed and that was way more before I transitioned in 2010. So that this stuff is really good. I'm telling you like, find them, go to www.healthyhairjourney.com and you will be surprised at their products. It's so good. And um, yeah, so I just took this and this is an old, see I told you I just used your products. This is an old bottle. It was the hair growth oil in this size. So they had this size and they had this size. So I got this size. And I just put it all in here, shook it up. Just shook it on up. And then voila! That's it. So one day I'm going to record me using this on my hair, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is just to make your own. Like, I'm not saying don't purchase other products. Don't per I'm not saying don't purchase all these lines. These products are $50. That's whatever you choose to do as far as products, do you boo like seriously like because I y'all see my other video I'm a retired product junkie so I don't want to be about that life anymore because you know if I know how to do it I'm going to do it so since I have the ability to make it I'm gonna make it save my dollars so and I like I said I don't know what's going on my skin I don't know what's going on in my hair I know what's going on because like anybody can take a piece of plastic and put your hair is going to grow if you use this for five days but then you don't see any growth so you just have to be precautious because a lot of people you know out here you know making all these stuff and they're saying oh it's gonna make your hair grow uh it's going to stop your shrinkage or it's going to give you the bomb twist out flat out flat twist whatever and you do it and nothing happens then guess what you want to save that product then you'll go to another product and you're gonna have to build up products and then guess what you're gonna be a product junkie like i was i had to learn the hard way so don't don't take the risk but just Go on Pinterest, Google. If you know that you uh, your hair likes jojoba oil and coconut oil and um, shea butter, come up with different mixtures that you can make and just use it because it's nothing like knowing for yourself what products you're using that's going in your hair. Like that's so important. I promise you, it really is. So do it like it's nothing like it. if anybody wants me to make them this good old shampoo you know holla at me leave a comment in the box below and i'll be glad to do it like i love looking out for everybody and you know if there's anything that you want to know or research just leave it down there or follow me on instagram blogger tumblr and we can chit chat and call it a day so i just wanted to come by and talk to you guys about that and I'm out. Deuces. God bless.